Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, give all praise to Yahweh Shem Yosha Bashem Rakakadash, the honors to the elders and apostles and the men, men in on truth on down regarding this truth of knowledge. And the Wadi Yahweh Shem Yosha for quitting the spirit of the elders and apostles and men and the men in the truth on down regarding this truth of knowledge. So we can know this truth of knowledge. Call all Yahweh Shem Yosha Bashem Rakakadash, give all praise to Yahweh Shem Yosha Bashem Rakakadash. This is a continuation of uh, what I wanted to do just last night relating to that video relating to the is the penal system um, racist and is, does slavery exist? This is just a continuation and the answer is yes. But the reason why it's set up that way because um, it was designed that way as for as far as punishment for um, for certain people, certain category group of people because of of ultimately sin, man, and their disobedience to the Lord. So these other nations would be um, um, be used as that tool, an instrument even of cruelty to further. Um, further you know pretty much implement that man, to make that make that an effect I'm gonna get some scriptures here group four and six man this is group four and six you were sold to the nation so that's your bondage man not for your destruction but because he moved God to wrath and how he moved the Lord to wrath by by being by by disobedience Obedience is better uh, better to obey than sacrifice, man. So the Lord requires obedience. The nation of Israel didn't do that, man. But because he moved because but because he moved God to wrath, and ye were delivered into your into the enemies. The enemies goes to Psalms eighty three. These other nations that were confederate that the Lord used to ultimately punish Israel, man. Second Maccabees seven and in thirty seven and thirty one. Okay, second Maccabees um, seven and thirty two. In spiritual layman's terms, this is the reason. For we suffer because of our sins. I'm going to read that again. For we suffer because of our sins. We sins. Sins is the ultimate origin of reason, man. And an example of a major consequence is the curses, man. Related to Deuteronomy, and I'll go into that. So we, for we suffer because of our sins, man. We sin against the Lord. We weren't obedient to Yahweh Bashim Yashah, man. It really goes deeper. We are meant to be... At, at a lower state, we were meant to sin. We were meant to um, be in a lower state. So ultimately, that's another lesson. So we can be. The scripture says, "Their fame, their their shame shall be shall be um, to fame." Man. So we are meant to be in this this state of condition because of pro uh, regarding this movie of prophecy, man. So we had to be in a in a in a, in a lower state. Um, so so the Lord can sh show His power through His Majesty. By one, uh, taking down the enemy, which is um, the ones in power. For Job 9 and 24, the earth has been given to the hands of the wicked. Two is to redeem, relating to his elect, and to rise that once downtrodden nation to a nation back of glory, man. So they had to be in the lowest state. This is this is part of it. Um, this is part of what has to happen, man. So, you know, we supposed not sin, but we had to sin regarding to fulfillment of prophecy. <clears throat> that was um second um 
That was second Maccabees 7 and uh, 32. Right here. For we suffer because of our sins. Let's go to um because we suffer because of our sins. Go to um Micah 7 and 9. For I will bear the indignation, which is the righteous anger of the Lord, because I have sinned against him until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me. Execute judgment what? <laughs> upon, the, upon the ones that, um, uh, that um, the, uh, these other nations met, that were confederate against uh, that special peculiar people. Go to um, Deuteronomy 14 and 2, Deuteronomy 7 and 6, man, that peculiar special people. That's the people of nation Israel that were separated among all other nations, whether I lead thee, man. Read that again. I will bear the indignation of the Lord because I have sinned against him until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me. He will bring me forth to the light and, and I shall behold his righteousness, man. So we had to bear the indignation. Bear goes to tolerate, suffer, suffer with humility, suffer with patience, suffer, suffer with obedience. In a matter of speaking, so it may it means to um, patience goes to endure, man, suffering, man. You know what I mean? So we have to endure regarding um, because uh, we sin, man. For we suffer because of our sins. Second uh, Maccabees seven and thirty two. So we had to suffer and bear this. Um, the afflictions, the infirmities in mind, body, spirit, uh, economically, socially, financially, um, in all aspects, man. That's part of these infir infirmities, man. In a, in a nutshell, the curses, man. You know what I mean? Or they were called pretty much demons, different levels, different levels of demons, uh, different levels of demons. You work in, in different areas, were used as um, plagues to be as plagues and infirmities and afflictions upon the nation of Israel because of their disobedience, man. For every devil is every for every devil of a level is a different level man a different you know a different a different devil at a different level man in pretty matter of speaking man so and the demons is their self the spiritual demons are are enough enough affliction man so that was seven and nine so we had to bear the indignation the anger of the lord because we sin man so we had to uh we suffer because of our sins man Let's go to uh, Deuteronomy 28. Go there. <clears throat> because the end of the day, the main reason is sins, man. That's why we fall in Jude one. We felt we fell from our our our, um, our 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 first estate. First estate is our state of renownness, notor uh, fame, notoriety of immortality, man. We fell from that because of what? of sin man we transgress against the lord man so we fell from an immortal state of renownness of greatness to to uh, a state of mortality and that's that fallen angels we are those fallen angels we we know we the spirits of those fallen angels in a human body on earth man that's what that is man Mortal goes to uh, weakness, ultimately death. For the wages of sin equals what? Death. Man. Let's go to Deuteronomy 28 and 48. Therefore shall, therefore shall thou serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall sin against thee. These other nations go to Psalms 83 that are confederate against thee, man. Starting with the, the top one, the chief one, related to Genesis 36, Edom, man. The descendants of that. Amalek is the chief, chief was one of the chief chief topton of the of, of those descendants related to Genesis 36. Therefore shall thou serve thy enemies with which the Lord shall send against thee and hunger and in thirst and nakedness. So you got to go to um, the, your, uh, these other nations, man. 
if you're hungry, you're thirsty, your neckiness related to clothing, and in one of all things because they're in a position of power. Job 9 and 24, the earth has been given to the hands of the wicked. Job 9 and 24, man. <clears throat> you read it from the top. Therefore shall thou serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall sin against thee in hunger and in thirst and nakedness in and one of all things it shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until ye have destroyed thee. And that's bondage, man. Pretty much bondage, slavery, man. Now you have different types of it. You have contractual, you have paper type um, 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 contractual documental um, decrees, laws, and different things which keeps you under a form of bondage, man. The elders, apostles go over that. The elder Apostle Gabar and then went over that in the video. So, contractual, maritime laws, you under social, your social security, your birth certificate, passports, you're, registr you're registrated under a number as a, a, a product, as a pretty much a product of the corporation, man, which is America, man. So, you're a product and property of that corporation, man. So, that's a form of uh, a bondage and servitude, man. Even when you're born, man. Maritime laws, different types of um, things. You know, that's another lesson. Um, so that's that's the that's the that's the new that's the more advanced bondage. The other one was the um, actual physical, which was the ball and chains or the yoke of iron, man, which goes to Deuteronomy go to Deuteronomy twenty eight. 64 through 68 on down man. a nation of a fierce countenance which shall not regard the persons of old nor shew favor to the young man. that's a nation that's, that's a nation of they're not going to regard what young old young old you know I mean go historically man for example the gator babies um, using using uh, certain people category groups of uh, people skin as to make leather, make shoes out of. That's just an example of uh, uh, wickedness they done, man. So, uh, a nation of a fierce council which shall not regard the persons of old, sh nor shoot favor to the young, man. So, that's the ones in the position of power, man. They're not going to have pity upon young or old, man. Go to um, Zephaniah eleven through five through seven. Let's read that. Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. That's the ones who pretty much are over, are over, are pretty much over Israel, man. So. They have done certain things, but they play like they haven't, man. In fact, they have cognitive dissonance. They only hear what they want to hear. They have, you know, they don't. They they only hear what they want to hear and believe what they want to believe. That's that cognitive dissonance. Whose whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. So they hold themselves not guilty for the historical crimes, man. We don't know what you're talking about pretty much that that type of disposition and they that sell them say blessed be the lord for i am rich and their own shepherds pity them not continue on for i will no more pity the inhabitants of the land saith the lord but i below i will deliver the men every one into his neighbor's hands into the hand of his king and 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 they shall smite the land and out of their their hand I will not deliver them and I will feed the flock of the slaughter even you O poor old flock and I will, and I took into me two staves one I call beauty and the and the other I call bands that I feed the flock so let me five Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty, man. So 
they hold themselves not guilty of certain things, certain deeds, certain acts they have committed, man. Especially historically, man. 73 and 5, man. Let's go to that. Because that video is relating to, uh, it's talking about the prison system under the 13th Amendment, which they can use to exploit. We'll get that word exploit. To exploit continuation of what? Bondage and servitude. Even under the pretenses of um, serving, serving a crime that one has committed. And sometimes they're in there for for crimes they haven't committed, man. I'm going to go to Isaiah 42. Let's get that one too. You know what I mean? Jake, Jake locked up for um, years, taken away for a crime he didn't commit, man. So this is a continuation of uh, of uh, of servitude under under the guise of being locked up in prison, man, and exploiting the Thirteenth Amendment to continue that, man, because we know the uh, the prison system is a very big, a lucrative business, a being multi billion dollar business, you know. Even stock market, even in the stocks, man, even see how celebrities and in stocks invested into the uh, the. The industrial, uh, the uh, industrial prison complex, man. For example, Michael Jordan and different celebrities. He had investments related to that, man. Seven, seventy-three and five. They are not in trouble as other men. Neither are they plagued like other men because they're in a position of power. Job nine and twenty-four. The earth has been given to the hands of them. So they're not going to be troubled, man. They're not going to be troubled as other men because everything is catered to them, man. Revelation 6 and 4, man. You know, I get um, Genesis, um, the other one, too. Um, Why thou swore thou shalt live. Uh, 2740 of Genesis, man. It's by the sword. They use the sword so they gain access, gain access to resources by using that sword, man. So that sword is that cruel, that um, that uh, that instrument or uh, instrument tool or, or tool or instrument of cruelty. Go with like a hammer, man, to pound, man. That's that sword, man. They're that sword, man. So they're not trouble as other men because they're in a position of power. Seven and um, six. Therefore, the pride can pass them about as a chain. Violence cover them as a garment, like blood. Their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than their heart, which is their mind, could wish for. And the more they have, the more they want. Man. Eight, they are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. That goes with 11.5 of Zephaniah, man. So they speak haughtily, proudly regarding a certain category of groups of people's oppression, man. They speak very lightly like it's no big deal, man. Get over it, move on, you know. They are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak lawfully. Lawfully is very highly, man. High-minded like, man. They speak, they speak, they mocking it, man. That's what they're doing, man. Especially certain category groups of people. Without those certain category groups of people, this this nation here wouldn't be what it is, man. We are the, those people are the, are the salt and flavor of the earth, as scripture says. And without them, this place would lose its flavor very fast, man. Go to uh, Revelations um, 6 and 4. I want to get Isaiah. I get that one too. There went out a ho another another horse, which is power represents power. That was red. That's Edom. Man. The power was given into him, Job nine and twenty four, and he sat thereon to take peace from the earth, and 
that they should kill one another and there was given to him a great sword that sword is his blessing man and through the sword he would gain he would um use it to um to pretty much capitalize and gain access to all things man go to um genesis uh, 27 go to genesis 27 um and 40 And by thy sword shall thou live. So by the sword, that's their blessing, man. Go to um, um, relating to Esau, man. That's his blessing, man. He's getting through that. He would gain the fatness of the earth, man. And sh and shall serve thy brother. And it shall come to pass when thou shalt have dominion over dominion that thou shalt break his yoke from off his neck, man. Let's go to um, Isaiah 42 and um, 42. 42 and 22, I believe. This is Isaiah 42 and 22. That relates to these two videos that were last night I did. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. That relates to the pe that specific people related to Deuteronomy 28. Because that's the centerpiece relating to the scriptures, man. The Bible, man. Whoever that represents pretty much represents pretty much the history relating to the Bible, man. They all, they are all. Let me say. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. They are all of them snared in holes. And they are hid in prison houses. That means they're locked up, man. They are for a prey and none delivereth. For they for a spoil and none saith restore. So that's part of the curses, man. They would be locked up, man. Some locked up wrongfully. Some locked up some locked up for actually doing certain things, man. You know what I mean? But that's part of the curses, man. You know the population of prison is black and brown people, man, and they're not they're not they're not black. Black is a crayon a color, man. It's not a nationality. It's not a uh, it's not a nationality or a people, man. This is brown. This is black. Two different colors. Social construct 1681. You know what I mean? It's pretty much the label and compartmentalize a certain people. Uh, put them in a category that doesn't that doesn't fit who they really are, man. And also give control and dominion over one ca category group of people that control the rest of the population. Other categories, a group of people they they tr they they put in they're compartmentalizing and putting in that box of category that doesn't represent who they are, man. We are made we are forced to be um, colorblind, man. Because look at, we're not black. Your skin color is different shades of brown, man. Relating to the lightest to the darkest of brown, man. We're forced and made to be in denial relating to seeing the obvious relating to our skin color. Who we are, man. Alright, let's continue on. Who among you will give ear to this? And who will hearken and hear for the time to come, man? Number 24, who gave Jacob for a spoil in Israel to the robbers? That represents um, Ezekiel 37, the two sticks, the northern and southern tribe. That two sticks together make one nation, which is nation of Israel. Did not the Lord he again against whom we have sinned? For they would not walk in his ways, neither were they obedient to his law. So that's the reason, man. So that was the punishment, man. Because of, of their lack of obedience to the Lord, man. Therefore, he had poured upon his fury of his anger 
go to uh, Micah 7 and 9. Also go to, uh, yeah, Micah 7 and 9. And the strength of the battle, and and it have set him on fire round about, yet he knew not, and it burned it, and it burneth him, yet he laid it not to heart. So the reason why the, a certain category group of people that represents who the Lord's people are, ultimately, reason why they're going through what they're going through, ultimately because of sin, man. Better to obey than sacrifice is obedience, man. So the nation of Israel wasn't obedient to the Lord, man. They weren't obedient to the Lord, man. You know what I mean? And because of that, we suffer because of our sins. Second like Maccabees um, 7 and 32, man. The sins. So because of the sins, the Lord, we, uh, we had to deal with consequences from our sins, man. And we had to bear that out. This is the Lord's movie, man. You know what I mean? So, you know, that's the reason, man. This was just a few scriptures relating to that. And most people still want to are not going to not going to understand that you know the scriptures make it plain and clear especially Deuteronomy and they still don't want to get it and really they just they don't want to accept it man. you know what I mean they hate what the scripture said they hate the ones that rebuke it at the gate man and they hate because their deeds are wicked and evil man you know they just don't want to accept it man so but that's what it is man sins and for that because of sins certain things were used as consequences to punish the Lord's people relating to uh, Deuteronomy 14 and 2, Deuteronomy 7 and 6. That's what it is. I hope this helps in some way. I want to give all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yoshai Bashim This is Zayab Wolf. I hope it helps um, in some way. Shalom.